Right, so this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Do you want to know how to get over the objection, I don't have the money? And when it comes down to it, that's probably the most popular objection that you're going to get from prospects. They're going to tell you, you know what, Kenny, I would love to join, but I don't have the money. Now, the first thing that you got to do when they say that they don't have the money is you got to find out whether they want to join or not. They may say they want to join, but they might just be brushing you off because they know that if they say, well, I don't have the money, then you know what, you may not chase them down anymore. All right, and so find out if they even want to join. And the best way to find out is, you know, just ask them, you know, if you had the money, would you do it? And when you're trying to overcome a, an objection, if it feels like an argument, like they're they're trying to make a case why they shouldn't do it, and you're making a case why you should, they should, then they don't want to join, and you don't want that person on your team. You want to be working with the person to overcome the objection. You don't want to be uh, working against them. And so I hope that made sense. If it seems like an argument, you're just talking to the wrong person. You want someone that's looking for you. You don't want you don't want someone that's trying to run away from you, all right? And so when they say they don't have the money, you say, you know what? If you had the money, would you join? They're probably going to say yes, or you know, if they're not trying to brush you off, they're going to say yes. And then you say, well, how far are you? Actually, you could say one of you can do one of two things. The first thing you could say is, well, how far away are you? Let's say it takes five hundred dollars to join, and they only have four hundred and fifty bucks. And you know what? They're, they could they could join at a three hundred dollar package, and so they can join. However, they think they can. All right, and so and and if they have four hundred and fifty, and it's a five hundred dollar buy in then it's only a $50 problem versus a $500 problem. So you gotta find out where they are. It's just like when you're on, a, when you look at a map, the first thing you gotta do is find out where you are and then you gotta find out where you're going, all right? And so find out where they are and then move forward from there. Now, if they aren't that far off, just say, well, how can we get you there? You know what, maybe it just takes a couple weeks, they can make a little bit of, you know, 50 more dollars in a couple weeks and then they can join. Or, you know what, maybe they could sell something and they could join. Or, you know what, how can we get you there? You know, who could we borrow the money from? That sort of thing. Now, um, that's, that's the first thing you should do. The second thing, and this second thing is really going to separate those people that you know are going to work and those people that aren't. And I really prefer the second way of raising the money because it shows someone that's hungry. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone that's hungry. And there's a way for them to raise the money. And now it's difficult for me to get into in this short, you know, three, five minute video, but I actually go over in my audio, uh, you know, creating momentum over at uh, www.kennysantos.com forward slash momentum. I'll actually put a link in the description of this video, but it's a way for them to raise the money. And the cool thing about this is that maybe you've had someone on your team or maybe you've prospected someone and they've just laid out the money for the big enchilada package and you never see them again. All right. And, it, and if it hasn't happened to you, trust me, it's going to happen. And it kind of sucks when that happens because you think, oh, this some this is someone that's ready. He's going to build. And all of a sudden, he lays out some money. He tries for a week or two, and I don't know what they decide. They decide it's just not for them. And so then they disappear. However, if they raise the money, if they work hard, they, first of all, they've shown the skills that they need to, in order to grow the business, and they're more likely to stick around. I would rather have someone that doesn't have the money that needs to raise it, that's hungry, versus someone that does have the money that isn't hungry, that doesn't need it. And so I trust you got some great value out of this. If you want to see how they can raise that money, go over to my blog. It's kennysantos.com forward slash momentum. It's a free audio. You just download it and you'll see exactly how it works. All right. Take care and create a great day.